How the uh, this is this is an absolutely fascinating story here. How the uh, right wing ballot or right wing machine in Arkansas stopped a ballot measure. There was a ballot measure in Arkansas. Um, the, people went out. They had to get uh, ninety thousand signatures, and they got over a hundred thousand signatures across all fifty counties in Arkansas. That was the criteria, and those signatures were certified, and they had you know more than they needed. This was eight. 100 different 800 grassroots organizers in Arkansas worked on this thing and thousands of volunteers you know went out and got got to got ballots and you know or got uh, signatures and the Arkansas Secretary of State John Thurston uh, rejected this and the Arizona uh, the Arkansas Supreme Court backed him up and here's why they claim that now this starts out with a guy named Ronnie Cameron. Ronnie Cameron is a poultry billionaire from Arkansas. He's one of the most important right wing power players you've never heard of. Uh, to quote the Guardian's uh, Stephanie Kirchengessner, uh, he's a conservative evangelical Christian, uh, donated tens of millions of dollars to anti abortion causes. You know where this is going. He was the single largest donor in the fight against the abortion movement, uh, the, the abortion uh, amendment. And he's the chairman of this chicken company, Mountaineer Farms. So uh, he, he, uh, he also donated three million bucks to Trump's candidacy in 2016. And uh, apparently in exchange for that, Trump weakened federal oversight of the poultry industry as he was receiving millions of dollars from Mr. Cameron. Uh, Cameron also funded the Jesus Fund, which uh, has donated over $159 million over the last decade to the National Christian Foundation, which is a multi-billion dollar charity that is the single largest funder of the anti-abortion movement in the United States. So you get who the actors are. Thurston, who is Arkansas's Secretary of State, challenged the petition. He said that they had not submitted the documents that were required to name the paid canvassers and confirm that they had been properly trained. Um, so he eliminated 14,143 signatures, which took it down to 88,000, which meant they didn't meet the 90,000 uh, threshold. Now, the group that was, you know, collecting the signatures said, we did, we submitted all the paperwork, you know, everything's fine. Well, it turns out that the law says that the paperwork has to be stapled to the top copy of the petitions. And they didn't staple it. I don't know if they paper clipped it or just set it, set it on top. And so Sarah, Suckabee, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, uh, you know, tweets, the far left pro-abortion crowd in Arkansas so show that they are both immoral and incompetent. And uh, then the ballot measure goes to the court. Now, judges are supposed to be nonpartisan, which brings us back to our chicken guy. Uh, when Sanders and the, the governor, Sarah Huckabee Sanders, announced in June 2023 that Cody Hyland, a former U.S. attorney who served as the head of the Arkansas Republican Party, would be appointed for, for a... She boasted that this would make Arkansas... It would give Arkansas a conservative majority on their Supreme Court. He became one of four justices to strike down the abortion amendment. Uh, the major majority decision was written by Justice Rhonda Wood, who is, guess who, funded by Ron, billionaire Ron Cameron's Mountaineer Chicken Company as one of the largest individual donors to her election campaign and had months earlier been endorsed by the Arkansas State Republican Party. The three dissenting judges said that uh, Thurston, the attorney general, had made this up out of whole cloth, uh, that such a requirement even existed, that it needed to be stapled. The dissenting judges said the majority's endorsement of Thurston's rationale was inexplicable. And Arkansas law makes it clear that they should have had time to, to fix this, in other words, to staple the paper. And apparently the law doesn't use the word staple, but nonetheless, the abortion is not, abortion is not going to be on the ballot in Arkansas. Or is not on the ballot in Arkansas, I guess. I don't know if they're early voting there or not right now, but it won't. It is not on the ballot.